Even walk anywhere in Oklahoma and you could encounter any one of 47 different types of snakes, seven you really want to avoid. Two News multimedia journalist John Guthrie went into the wild with local snake hunters to learn about pit vipers, pros and cons. Five out of seven venomous snakes in Oklahoma are rattlesnakes. The other two vipers are the cottonmouth, aka water moccasin, and the copperhead. This snake here could kill us all if he if he wanted to. When most people think of snake hunting, they imagine a rattlesnake roundup. But Tim Fitzer, a taxidermist from Haskell, Oklahoma, hunts snakes for work, fun, food, and science. This is something my father-in-law got me into years ago, and, and I told him he was crazy. I said, you're going to get bit. Tim has been bitten five times in his 37 years of snake hunting, but that has yeah. not slowed him down. Whoa! Kenny Bippus has been hunting with Tim for years, but even with all that experience, the unexpected can still happen. A sneak attack from underneath a rock, proving why snake chaps are so important. That's why you got to keep your eyes and your ears open at all times. Yeah, on social media these days, all I hear about is quotes of bullet calibers and the only good snake is a dead snake. But before you unleash your wrath on these reptiles, there's a few things you need to know. Oklahoma itself, and in fact across the U.S., you're more likely to be struck and killed by lightning than you are to be, to be struck and bitten and envenomated and killed by a venomous snake. Warren Booth, an assistant professor of biological science at the University of Tulsa, says that snake venom has had more positive effects on our lives than negative. And there are studies to suggest that the venom itself will prevent um, cancer cells from attaching to other cells. And it will also reduce the likelihood that uh, blood vessels are going to form and therefore result in the growth of a tumor. They are a fascinating creature in, in this Alzheimer's and, and breast cancer and, and high blood pressure. I say the cure to all that's right here in, 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 this, in this venom. Tim says that snakes should not only be feared, but respected for all the good things that they can do for us. And Paul James with Southwood Garden Center agrees. Snakes are hugely beneficial in the garden. The most common around here is the common garter snake. And they eat slugs and bugs. And they do a great job of patrolling the garden and minimizing pest damage. If it weren't for snakes, vipers included, we'd be overrun with, with rodents. Got him! Tim says within a few months, most of these snakes will be released back into the wild. You want to put him in your backpack? Okay. Backpack. Gotcha. There's one thing that all the snake hunters I encountered on this journey can agree on. Adrenaline rush like I've never had yeah. before. No, you know, any second, you know, he could turn and get you. It's kind of dangerous, so it's kind of fun. It's a blast. It's quite an adrenaline rush. I'm an adrenaline junkie. In Warwicka, Lake Eufaula, Haskell, well, okay, all over Oklahoma. John Guthrie, two works for you. Hey, work yourself.